Hey guys, this is David, and today I'm reviewing these two awesome haversacks. So in front, we have the Raging River Trading Company haversack and the Hidden Woodsman haversack. This is made by Malcolm from uh, New England, and this is from Dan Edwards. So I've been following Malcolm on YouTube now for, I'm going to guess, around five years. The very first video I watched from him was a review on a um, a Bergen pack or a rucksack. I think it might have been the uh, the snug pack. And um, it's it makes me very very proud and it makes me very happy to see a member of the uh, the bushcraft outdoors community uh, start their own business and how it's flourishing. He's uh, he's really doing well and that's that's so awesome very very proud of him um, I think opening up a business um, you know it's probably one of the toughest things you could do in in life and uh, they don't really make it easy for you with all the fees and regulations and taxes so you know props to to Malcolm and also to to Dan Edwards so Dan Edwards was in the Coast Guard and in the Coast Guard he actually made his a lot of his own gear for him and his Coast Guards to use in the field so he really knows how to make hard use items that have been tested and same thing for for Malcolm um, you can't go wrong with either one of these both of these will handle all of your bushcraft needs quite well so um, that being said there are differences between the two and depending on your preferences you might prefer one over the other right so I'm just going to to give you my experiences with both and uh, share with you some of the differences that I've noticed from from both to see if maybe it'll help you to make your decision on which one is best for you so right off the bat you're gonna notice that these look very similar and it's not a case of uh, this pack copying this pack not not at all both of these are patterned after um, old style military surplus um, bread bags uh, the one that that I think they look most similar to is the uh, Polish uh, surplus bread bag and I'll insert a, a picture for you guys to, to check out so the the Polish bread bag had a flap like this um, and it had two straps and a shoulder strap so and these two are very similar the dimensions are, are very similar um, they're both handmade in the US both of these are American companies uh, the components are are sourced from America the the Raging River has a lifetime warranty if uh, the craftsmanship or the materials were to you know something were to go wrong then you could send it in for repairs I don't think Malcolm has a warranty um, if he does um, let me know and uh, I'll, I'll edit the video and include that information but so they're roughly around the the same size you know dimension wise and everything so I'm gonna talk about the let's talk about the materials so they're both uh, it's both Cordura, I believe. Um, it's this is a thousand denier, and this is five hundred. Uh, the insides, I think, are four hundred denier. They're both lined on the inside. So it's it's nylon Cordura. So there's water repellency that comes with that. Um, this is five hundred, so it's not as tightly woven as the thousand. So I think th that would give uh, this one more. Um, water repellency the the raging river then the hidden woodsman but they're both like I said they're both very very durable they're, it's both um, um, you know Cordura materials so very very tough and um, what else this feels a lot stiffer the hidden woodsman feels a lot stiffer um, than, than the hidden woodsman this feels um, it's durable, but it feel, it's more pliable. It, it, it's like if you were to make a pair of pants with this, it would be you know quite comfortable. But with this one, it seems a lot stiffer. Um, what I did notice with the Hidden Woodsman is I got this from uh, an SE forum member. And when it was mailed to me, it was kind of wrinkled. And it took a, a while to, to get all the wrinkles out. But you wouldn't have a problem with this one being a thousand denier and very stiff. Um, if you want something that's super, you know, like bomb proof, 
this one is the Raging River is probably your best choice, but they're both very, very durable. Um, right now it's it's a fall 2018, and these sacks, these haversacks don't quite look like this. The the Raging River haversack has a, a Velcro area here now instead of the patch. Um, Malcolm, I think he doesn't have this this Velcro patch here anymore. You can um, you I, you could probably order one with with the the Velcro patch. I'm not quite sure. Um, Malcolm has the carry handle here, and as of fall or the summer, um, I think Dan has added a uh, a handle here as well. Um, there's webbing that comes from this side all the way here. The handles are in the middle. So there's webbing on either side and you could attach a cup or, or whatnot. I think that's an ideal place to hang a, a cup or your gloves. So both of these have front buckles here. Let's just mention that, I think. And the thing you're gonna notice right away is that uh, the Raging River Haversack has the ax sleeve in the front, whereas the Hidden Woodsman has his in the back. So this is a, a very wide um, axe leaf, so it'll accommodate a Fiskars axe, which is an axe that I use most commonly. Um, the uh, the Raging River, the, the axe leaf isn't quite as large. Um, it'll accommodate a, a um, Estwing hatchet, like the Boy Scout hatchet, and most wooden handle ones, it's not a problem. It's just that the Fiskars didn't fit this sleeve, but um, I mentioned that to Dan. I think you might be able to, well, Dan does still do custom orders, so you could actually ask him to, to make it larger for you. But so now preference, do you want your ax um, on the back side of the haversack and against uh, your body, or do you want it in front? Um, most people who own this, the Hidden Woodsman, uh, they don't really complain of the axe being, you know, in the back and next to them. So that might not be a problem. Um, but for me, I, I prefer to have it in, in the front. So now, when you're looking at the front, the, the Hidden Woodsman has two front pockets. This one is zippered here. And then there's an opening here. The uh, Raging River one has uh, molly webbing. There's three um, rows of it here. Uh, another thing I want to mention about the Hidden Woodsman Haversack, a very uh, smart feature on the Hidden Woodsman is the straps. I'll show you why. I love these, uh, these little Velcro um, strap organizers really convenient keeps things nice and tidy so once you unravel it so once you unravel it you can carry your your bedroll um, your sleeping pad or, or your blanket on the bottom just like that or um, on top, or combination of the two, like that. So right out of the box, you can, you don't have to buy any extra straps, right out of the box, you can use this haversack and have it accommodate a, uh, a bedroll or a sleeping pad, or you have your jacket up here. So that's a really smart feature. And if you don't need to do any of that, then you would just, you know, just uh, fold the straps up and keep it out of the way. Very, very smart feature on on the Hidden Woodsman. With the um, the Raging River, what they've done is these straps are, are shorter. It has a really firm click. All of the components are very high grade and, and very durable. So with the Raging River, you have webbing on the bottom here so you could um, tie the, the bedroll to the bottom, which, which is fine with me. Um, I would personally, I like the idea of having a strap that is dedicated to the bedroll here. Um, I would feel like it's more secure with this one. I would be afraid of it 
jostling around or whatnot, but that might not be, be an issue for you. But like I said, very smart feature on the Hidden Woodsman. Let's go back. Actually, let's look at the sides here. So with the, the Raging River Haversack, you have uh, four rows of webbing versus two here, and that's this is fine, having two. I actually have, uh, let me show you, actually. So this is my canteen. This is from um, Pathfinder School, and this is a complete kit. So there's a water canteen, there's a stove, and there's a canteen cup here. And this is a homemade uh, carrier that I made for that, and I designed it to, to fit right there. Um, you could probably still make it work with just the, the two rows of webbing, but it would probably move around a little bit more, but it, it'll work just fine. Um, another cool feature on this haversack is there's external sleeves here. Right now I have a more 2000, a very, I love this knife. It's a very underrated knife. Um, when it first came out, it was probably the coolest Mora <laughs> you, you could have. Um, besides, you know, everyone had the Mora Clipper and whatnot, but then when this came out, it gave us uh, some, some options. But, so there's sleeves on either side. On this side, I have my Baco uh, Laplander there. Same thing, you have four rows of uh, webbing. So I've showed you the front, the sides, the bottom. So I'll show you the back. Well, you've seen the back for the uh, Hidden Woodsman. It's just um, plain like that for the Raging River. Um, let's talk about straps since we're out here. So they both come with two inch um, straps here. Um, these are heavy duty buckles, very, very secure. And um, Malcolm chose, for me, if this feels softer, more, more pliable. It might be lighter weight than the, the Raging River. Um, with, with the uh, Hidden Woodsman, there isn't a uh, shoulder pad. With the Raging River, it does come with an included shoulder pad. And he also has webbing sewn on the side here. Um, you could attach uh, some gloves or your phone on, on the, uh, the shoulder strap. I think that's a pretty cool feature. So now let's go back and look at the insides some more. So both of these haversacks have this Velcro closure. And um, if you need to access your how I like to carry my haversack usually if I'm on the go is I'll just have the flap open like this and I'll carry it. I'll just have the Velcro keep things inside. So if I need to quickly grab something, whether it's it's my knife or uh, my, my Tinder pouch or whatever, I can just grab it right away. And it's the same thing with the Hidden Woodsman. It's that Velcro. So... Now, another really cool thing about the Hidden Woodsman haversack is the orange lining he has on the inside here. That increases visibility, um, so you could see what's deep down in the bottom of your haversack. I've seen some models where uh, the backside has that orange lining as well, and uh, it's you know it's safety orange in case uh, you need to, to signal for help. And there's another. Uh, pocket for you inside there. That's pretty much it for the Hidden Woodsman. So you have a total of three pockets. So there's a zippered um, outside pocket, this pocket here, and one pocket on the inside. With the Raging River one, you have two zippered pockets. Um, one thing that I've noticed, it might not be a big deal, but the tabs for the Raging River zippers are, are bigger um, if it makes a big deal to you. So like I said, they're both aligned on the inside. 
I would have to say the stitching for the Raging River is is better than the stitching for the uh, the Hidden Woodsman. It seems as the um, the lines are are straighter. Um, there's less like um, I don't know what that's called, but unfinished ends like on the inside here. Um, not not big of a deal. It doesn't really affect the way it doesn't affect the way it works at all. But if it matters to you, because um, I've seen some some posts where people mention mention it, and I just wanted to to let you guys know that if uh, it matters to you. But that's pretty much it for these two haversacks. Um, I think Malcolm really knocked it out of the park with his his color combinations. Um, they both make other products. Uh, they both make backpacks. Um, Malcolm makes stuff for, um, he has like the, the Deep Woodsman rucksack or backpack that just came out. Um, um, Dan Edwards, he makes a lot of stuff for like a uh, canoeist for people who, who uh, you know, raft and, and canoe and ride motorcycles as well. As of right now, I don't think Malcolm is doing any customization. He has he uh, his business is growing really well. Like I said, I'm very proud of him. He uh, he's selling some of his gear on Amazon as well, so you guys could purchase his gear on Amazon if you guys have a gift card or whatnot. Um, but um, so so Dan still does custom. Um, colorways and, and whatnot um, but uh, by default he usually has this this brown with black colorway he has like an all tan or all OD green um, I've seen um, the hidden woodsman in this foliage green and tan I've seen it in like a, a brown color uh, in an all tan color as well but uh, I think that's that's basically it for these two packs I don't know if I've mentioned pretty much everything that I know about these two sacks. Um, if you want uh, something that, that's really, really durable, it might be heavier. That's the thing, right? This is it's made of a thousand denier um, fabric. So it's, it's, it's tougher, it's stiffer, but it might be a bit heavier than the Hidden Woodsman. Mm, I think that's about it. One thing that I like to, to add is that um, when I posted up my review of the Raging River Haversack, a forum member from Bushcraft USA, I love Bushcraft USA. I want to say hi to everyone <laughs> from uh, Bushcraft USA. But a forum member said, uh, my review was pretty cool. I, I showed this sack, this bag being used on, on vacation as a camera bag, a lunch bag. I've shown it as a bushcraft bag with a bushcraft loadout. He said those tests are, are fine and whatnot, but the ultimate test of a haversack is if you can take it to to what was it, Disney World and carry your kids' juice and like their lunch, their snacks, and have ketchup spill all over the, the haversack. And uh, if it could handle that, if it can handle dealing or handle a kid's loadout at Disney World and a uh, you know, come out with uh, without being stained or damaged. It's the ultimate test, and <laughs> I don't have kids yet, but um, I could see his point. I think he had the uh, the hidden woodsman, and I think he had some um, some stains on it and whatnot. But like I said, the the fabric being 500 denier is is quite good. Um, it's 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 fine. It's, it's it's very durable as well. But like I said, so if you want the the ability to use use this right out of the box. Right, without buying any extra extra straps or anything and use it um, with a bedroll, then this is your your bag right here. Um, if your preference is you want the ax leave in the front, if you want something that it's, that's made out of a thousand denier fabric, um, your, this might be your preference in that case. If you want something a little bit more lightweight, uh, then Hidden Woodsman. <laughs> so, um, I'm racking my brain here, guys. That's that's about it. If you have any questions regarding either one of these haversacks, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll answer them. Um, if you found this video to be enjoyable or informative, please consider giving me a like and a sub. I'd greatly appreciate it. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay?